Boxing King Media in association with Box Row. Ed Hardy, amateur yeah. sensation. I just got introduced to you today. Um, sometimes when I speak to people, I, I like to do my research, but sometimes I like to just go completely free flow. So, Ed, for the fans who, who probably haven't seen you before, just introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Edward Hardy from Doncaster, 20 years old. I'm two time national champion and still amateur at the moment, getting ready for the senior elite championships. Obviously, you're at uh, the Steel City gym today, so is there anyone in particular you come around to spar or you know, do you just like training here? Yeah, I've been, uh, Piers rung up and see if I could spar Thomas. So, uh, being down just done six rounds with Thomas Sumba, ready for his next fight, and puts me in good stead for the elites as well. But I've also been and sparred Sonny and, uh, and go around, been getting quite some good sparring at the moment with Jason Cunningham, and then another amateur, Cody Smith, as well. And get some good sparring in. So you're not messing, messing about here. So uh, just tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, how old are you? And you know, is boxing what you're doing full time, or do you do other things? Uh, I'm 20 years old, and no, I just uh, at the moment just boxing on the night and things, and keeping keeping going. But it's something I want to do full time. We're farmers at the moment at home, so we're busy on the farm working at the moment. No, oh, that's interesting. So I'm, gl I'm glad I didn't do any research about you. So you say you're a farmer, yeah? yeah so is yeah. that what you do full time? So just explain to me what what's your day-to-day -day life like, you know, on a farm? It can change all the time depending on what's happening. But we we're, we're a mixed farm, so we've got uh, livestock and arable, and so we sometimes we're out in the fields on the tractors, and other times we're we're mainly pigs. We've got a farm shop as well, so we're busy all the time. Really, get up and uh, go feed the pigs and do any jobs that need doing and then after I'll come do some sparring or training and things like that but it's good being on the farm because I get that strength from being on the farm and training and things like that. So whereabouts is your farm? So you got a farm shop as well? Yeah, uh, Margrange Farm Shop it is, uh, uh, Doncaster so it's not too far away really from Sheffield. That's interesting that so I'm guessing you've grown up your entire life on the farm yeah. you know that that's basically your, your, your life your culture your, your everything so how different is that to compare to us city people? Yeah well it's not just being outside all the time and I couldn't I couldn't be inside doing a sit down job or, because I am just naturally like to be out doing things and just being out messing about really. <laughs> So is that something you're going to continue doing, uh, continue your, you know, your farming lifestyle and then just box on the side? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, continue doing the farm, but then hopefully progress and get up the ranks in the boxing. Okay. So uh, you said you won the, the Nationals a couple of times. Just, uh, just tell us you know, when, when was that and uh, you know, what are your future plans? Well, I won the, uh, I won the, the juniors and the youths and then I've also won the English title at 56 kilos as a youth. And I've got the elites coming up in March, so we're getting ready for them. And hopefully we're going to do, do the elites, win them at 57 kilos, and then, um, and then hope, see what happens, really. If GB opens the doors and maybe go there or turn pro, depending what happens. Because you're 20, aren't you? And there's a lot of people now at the age of 20. They're, they're, ter they're turning, pro yeah, there's because turning pro. There's a lot turning pro young at the moment. Yeah, and a lot of it is basically just the risk of waiting around to see if he'd get selected and yeah. some don't want to take that risk they just want to start earning money straight away so uh, so w when are you going to decide that then well really it'll be after the elites decide see what see what happens there just see which path one takes i'm in no rush and if if a good uh, deal comes up or whatever then we might take it and just see how we get on really Cool. So obviously, when your boxing journey starts, I'm sure the fans uh, will uh, give you a follow. So, uh, wh where can they uh, check you out on social media? Well, on Instagram, it's uh, Edward underscore Hardy 17, all lowercase, and Facebook's Edward Hardy. So obviously, before we wrap up, I just want—I'm just my own curiosity. So, uh, if you just say on a day-to-day -day farm life, so what time do you wake up? You know, just. Give me a bit of a rundown of what varies, your day is like. It varies really. It's like today we had to, I had to go around delivering to the butchers, so I had to get up at half past four this morning. So I've been, done the run round, come here, come sparring, and then now I'll be going back home, see, see how everyone's getting on and carry on. But it's 24-7 jobs, so you're always, just always at it doing different things really.
I have this image of farms like in the winter, I just think to myself, the last place I want to be in the winter is in the middle of a farm with no central heat in. Yeah. Well, what's life like, you know, in the winter? Yeah, it's, it's cold, but we've got the fire in the house and things, so it's, it's not bad. You can keep going and you're just out of the way and you're, you're all right, really. Keep, you just got to keep going. So other than the p pigs, what else do you have? Uh, we've got, well, we're mainly pigs. We've got a few sheep on as well, and then we've got uh, arable as well. So we grow wheat, barley, oilseed, rape, and all different crops. Barley is something I've been trying out recently. I don't think a lot of people know about the health benefits of barley. Yeah. Do you take it yourself? Yeah, we, yeah, we have some. Yeah, take some and it keeps keeps going. Like yeah, I always eat in healthy and things, so I'm always fit and and ready. Really. Sweet man. Well, I look forward to seeing you, uh, see where your journey takes you, and uh, I'm intrigued about this farmer life. And uh, hopefully, at some some point when you get to the professional ranks, I'll I'll come and spend a day yeah, with you, do, do some filming on the farm because uh, I, I do like the farm life, sir. Yeah, definitely. It'd be good that the farm boy, the farm boy. In fact, is that what what is yeah, going to be your boxing nickname? Yeah, that's what we're going to be the farm boy. The farm boy. Yeah. So. That's interesting. That that is very different. So, boxing fans, the farm boy Ed uh, Ed Hardy. Keep watch out for him.